Tourists love Hobart and they need somewhere to stay, but it means Airbnb has been steadily encroaching on suburban streets, eating into housing supply. This back street in Denern has about 30 townhouses. In the past month, two have been converted into short stay and a third has been proposed. It's become more and more apparent that this is a really beautiful place to come for a holiday. So, you know, that means more Airbnbs, which means uh, less housing, which means higher rental prices. Vienna and Adam are now short stay accommodation neighbours. They moved into their rental two months ago after a period of couch surfing. It's a matter of, I guess, balancing interests. So, um, I guess for a lot of homeowners, the appeal and the interests of um, making a lot of money from Airbnb is very um, enticing. Some neighbours oppose the conversions, but the council is powerless to stop them. I don't like it that much. Like, I understand it's probably not going to make a huge deal if there's one or something, but um, sort of gives us the feel like maybe a lot of people might start doing it and then, you know, it's like <laughs> just living among a bunch of Airbnbs. So far this year, more than 50 permits have been issued for whole home short-stay accommodation in Hobart. Many of them are just regular suburban homes, like those in Denern. The council has been trying to find ways to stop them, but can't under Tasmanian planning law. Airbnb argues the conversions only play a small part in Hobart's housing mix. People put their properties on Airbnb for a number of reasons. So it might be because they're trying to respond to cost of living pressures themselves. It might be because um, they're trying to, to rent out a space uh, of a holiday home. Hobart renters, however, are urging house owners to think of the impacts. It is your property, so it's yeah. your decision, but we can only hope that you make the ethical decision and um, think that your property and your decision affects people's lives. One person's holiday getaway could be another's long-term home. Adam Holmes, ABC News.